if you if you know it doesn't cost this much and you're keeping this by omitting the actual price from somebody you you're lying which is a form of thief which is a form of crime <laughs> like it's 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 honesty it's, it's being dishonest we only been here two days and the second day two we're stopped by the cops and they're detaining us for some reason which didn't make any sense All right, so clearing up the uh, cost of these items, the cost of the tour, what we're gonna do on the tour. Um, so after we had our face-to-face -face conversation where she asked to, me to bring a bottle of perfume, since she said you can't get this in Ethiopia, or she said it's too expensive here. But anyway, then she followed up with a text the next day. She said, the gifts will be the gifts in exchange for the money. So, can I add something here? <laughs> so, once he uh, clarified for me that sh her expectation was to pay back the things that we were bringing, I began to then check with her that the price points were good. So, I we went to DSW for the shoes for her daughter. Is this good? Are you okay with this price? She okayed it. Then I found a refurbished laptop Wait, this online. This is by WhatsApp video. Yeah. Then we're, on, mm -hmm, then we're on. Then we're on. I'm on Amazon. I found a refurbished laptop. I said, "Does this work for you at this point price point?" She said, "Yes." So I made sure to fit within her budget. We tried to keep everything at that two hundred dollar mark, and then she still asked for a couple of extra things like the Vaseline and the iPhone charger because she has an iPhone, which again only middle class people have in Addis <laughs> in Ethiopia, right? So um, you know, again. The, the the agreement had been that there was going to be an exchange, right? So you bring us the items, they're going to value up to two hundred dollars US. Therefore, you're going to get two full days worth of travel uh, touring. Now this is like all this stuff is like just it's too it's too it's too convoluted. It, yeah, I just want to either pay you money or give you the items. I would rather just pay the money because I don't like to do the barter thing <laughs> because things could get misconstrued like what's happening now so she said she's gonna pay this back plus we're gonna pay her for the trip cool cool um but i started to tell her i was like you know what i think we should not bring anything we should just give her the money like because i was i was just not getting a good feeling and even I, my feeling was so uh it was so intuition-y <laughs> i had this intuition I left a bottle of perfume here. I didn't even bring it with us. We took everything else and I was like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bring this perfume. Maybe I'll just make up the difference with cash. Because I know if you go to tour company, they're gonna charge you maybe 200 to 500 if it's uh, three days or whatever. So that's not, that wasn't a problem. It was never a problem. But I need to know how to budget out our money when we go on vacation. Yeah, and by the time it was uh, time for us to leave, I was also feeling not great about the situation because I said to Ishe, when I don't want- we were on her. our way to Ethiopia. Yeah, when we were on our way to Ethiopia, I said to Ishe, I don't want her to be in a position where she owes us money. Yeah. Right? So because she kept adding things to the list, even as we were just days away now, right? Because it started almost three months out and then she just kept adding little things right up until we left. At that point, I said to Ishe, I don't feel comfortable that now she owes us money because that's putting her in a, an uncomfortable situation as somebody who may or may not have financial struggles, right? I didn't want that, so, which is why we kind of both decided it was a better idea to leave the perfume behind and just go with the things that we had. Um, so that's how we came to that conclusion. Um, even before we left, remember how we told our plans to go to Kurit too? Yeah. And she was inviting herself. She was like, oh yeah, I'll go with you guys. And I, right away, I'm like, hold on, how are you going to do that? So that I'm, I'm right away, I'm thinking, so this means we're going to have to pay for her room. <laughs> we're going to have, but I'm like, that's supposed to be our, like, our time alone, our honeymoon. I'm like, that's going to be really awkward to have this, <laughs> this person, well, our sister or friend with us. So we got to get an extra room for her. We can't, you know, I'm like, nah, we can't do that. And so somehow you you 
it took you a couple of weeks to yeah. let her know, hey, we really want to do this trip on our own. Yeah. We, we only <laughs> need you for, yeah, yeah, for yeah. Addis. Just show us around Addis. Like yeah. we need some, we need some adult time in a nice resort. Yeah. Okay. So I, I, right away it's going through my head. I'm like, okay, I'm getting her manicures. I'm going to get her manicure. <laughs> got to get her dinner. Got to get her dinner. <laughs> it was like, no, like who does that? Like, unless that's part of your package. And you're adding on another hundred, then let us know. But don't, no, that's just, you know, she kept dipping her feet in the water, <laughs> testing the temperature this yeah. whole time. Yeah. It was like just seeing how far she can go. And when she, when she can get an inch, she would, she would take it, yeah. you know, by, and that's how she kept adding all this other stuff. So by the time we were done, all the items she asked for added up to $200. So more I'm than, like, more than a little more. That's why the, the perfume stayed behind. Yeah. Me. Yeah. And um, and we even didn't charge her for a couple of things. Yeah. So let's get into the package that she offered versus what we actually did. Because some of y'all are under the impression that she took us to all these places. And somebody even said, I've seen all your vlogs and she took you to many places. <laughs> yeah. Why are you talking bad about her? <laughs> I'm like, oh, so... Thank you for, uh, you know, <laughs> telling me how good my editing is to where it seemed like we went to all these places. But if you really check day one and two, we didn't go to a lot of places. Look, this is what she offered. She said, uh, St. George's Cathedral, Mescal Square, Holy Trinity Cathedral, National Museum of Ethiopia, Monument, Lion of Judah, and Toto Hill, Bole uh, Manhadelum, that's the uh, the mall. Uh, she said, Ethiopian's food. Um, <laughs> I mean, I don't know what, what that was. Uh, she said, traditional music club. Um, and then she says, here are the places that I always do for the three day city tour. She just added in Addis Mercato. <laughs> okay and uh we said we're keen on addis mercado we want to we want to see that definitely um and we we just said okay we'll do we can do mexico square cathedrals we've seen cathedrals like it's not really on our to-do list you know i don't think you need to show us that but it, oh well we definitely wanted to see the national museum of ethiopia the lion of judah of course in toto and then a mall uh, near Bole and Bole. Um, so what we actually did, we went on with the tour. So what we actually did day one. We were living already around Mexico Square. So we were really close to Piazza. All we did was come out our condo, walked around the corner, one street up to Piazza. Um, we went to that uh, place with the uh, communist um, statue that was uh, donated by Cuba, which we didn't ask for. That wasn't on a tour. It just happened to be on our way. <clears throat> we walked past a lot of shops that uh, she didn't want us to go into. And I'm like, why is she rushing us? Like, we can't, she don't want us to go in there? Okay. But we don't know. We're just like following her lead, right? So we saw one thing that wasn't on anybody's agenda. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I went to get a SIM card that was on the way um, and then we went to Piazza you, you see all of this on our day one video mm -hmm. um, and there that is when <laughs> as our friend KS says the tour circuit queen began <laughs> she started taking us running us through all these jewelry shops and uh, because she knew we had just gotten married and she wanted to us to buy rings. I, I think you guys talked about it, but it wasn't on our agenda. It was like, we can do that stuff after we finish our tour. Mm -hmm. If you're around, if you're available, yeah, take us to some shops. But it, the, not the first day. The first day, I want to see, I want to see Friendship Park. I want to see Unity Park. I want to see, you know, I want to, I want to see all the monuments. I want to see all this stuff. Mm -hmm. So, but we didn't do that. We bypassed. Oh, and one of the shops we bypassed on the way to Piazza 
was the shop that we actually went to and we sh you see the video on our channel, yeah. the gift shop. The second to last day we shopped till we dropped there. Yeah. And she hurried us on right past that. She, she was hurting us like, there. yeah, <laughs> you don't want to go in there. It ain't got nothing in there. Yeah. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> that was the family run business that we told you guys had been in business for 50 years. And so yeah. we just circled back there after we got rid of our tour. <laughs> yeah, we like that place looks very interesting. Let's get yeah. in there. Um, and with the rings thing, right? Like we, you know, rings are something that you have to like, prepare for and shop for you don't go to the very first shop and the very first ring that you see you purchase but again as he was alluding to earlier they try to get you to make decisions very hastily so she was like you should get this you may not see it again right and it's yeah. like nobody said that the first thing we wanted to do right out of coming off of an aircraft is go shopping for jewelry when those things take time you have to figure it out look for sizing look for different see, si uh, that's, styles that's what scammers do they yeah. they figure they're the smartest person in the group yeah and they figure like you're so dumb that you're just gonna blow out your money on the first thing you see yeah. like a lot of tourists do yeah let's be honest a lot of tourists the first place they go they spend all their they money at that place. Yeah. We're, we're seasoned. <laughs> we, we, like, you can't get, like, she's from a big city, New York, lived in London, Italy, <laughs> Canada. <laughs> I'm from the West Coast, all the scammers on the West Coast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in DC, we're both in DC. We've yeah. been in big cities, we've been through the whole thing. I've been all over the world. Anyway, she hurried us in and out of these jewelry shops. As you can see on day one, we're still in Piazza. And then we saw uh, Taitu, we saw Taitu Hotel. That wasn't on the agenda, but that was cool. Even that one, we went in, we didn't eat, we looked around, we took a little video and we left. So how many places is that? None, zero. <laughs> Zero places on the, the tour. List. Yeah, the we just happened to uh, be in that in that area. Um, so we then went to St. George's. That wasn't. We the went list. to St. George Cathedral. You mm -hmm. see that in our video mm -hmm. where we bigged her up. We was giving her all the props. We like made her look really great. We like just just gave her all the grace and thanks for being such a good tour guide. Mm -hmm. But. Like again, that's the only thing that was on the agenda. Um, after that, that the restaurant, yeah. yeah, we did. She said um, she likes to take the blue donkeys. We did that. That was cool. Mm. Um, I mean, did we need her to do it? Not really. So after Cathedral, we went to Bole. Then she had us in and out of these uh, Zudia shops. Oh yeah. She took us to the most expensive one there. Yes, Roots, yeah. Yeah, that was nice. It but was nice. again, it was like, this is our tour date. We're yeah. not like, we're not like trying to, like if we have time during the week, that's fine. But we're supposed to be seeing all this stuff. So by that time it got late, as you can see on day one of our video. Then the traditional food house. That's where we went to. Mm -hmm. That's where we went to, uh, Yod Abyssinia, mm -hmm. which was on the list. She called it, uh, she traditional called it dance, traditional, traditional music, club. traditional music club, so, supper club. Yeah. So it was just St. George's, St. Piazza, George's, well, Piazza, right? with that wasn't on the list. Okay, it wasn't on the list. So, so just St. George's and um, that were actually on the list and Yoda Bassinia. Yoda Bassinia. Yeah. Yeah. So everything else was not actually on the list in the agreement. So on our, our one day tour, day one, we saw two things <laughs> out of on this list. list. Yeah. So second day, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to her. I'm like, okay. Cause as we were in the blue donkey, we're passing up Friendship Park. I'm like, hey, I'm gonna, we ain't going there. Okay. Unity, oh. Yeah, Unity, hey. This is... Oh, we're not going there. <laughs> we, we, we can't get out and go, okay, okay, I'll let you. Okay. Where isn't Toto? Oh, we're not going there today. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So then uh, we go to the Yoda Abyssinia. That was cool. Everybody saw that. That's that's the video everybody likes. She was on. She was in her element. I was in my element, watching her filming and drinking my honey wine. It's mess. My mess. And so check this out. This is where the things got weird. Yod Abyssinia is in Addis Ababa. We live in Addis Ababa. <laughs> it's probably. A 10 minute drive from where we are living. Less. Less than that. Mm -hmm. So, the airport's about 10 minutes from where we were staying. <laughs> exactly. 
Mind you, okay, we're we're fresh off the plane. Literally. Literally. We haven't <laughs> really slept. gotten any slept, <laughs> sleep. So we're going along with it because we, by this, she already gained our trust. So we don't have any reason to suspect anything is going on. But when we get out the club, it's nighttime. So it's like, okay, time to go home. Then she's like, oh, Addis Ababa is really dangerous. Um, I was on a tour. I was showing this guy from Australia around, a black guy from Australia, and he got robbed right in front of me and I had to help fight him off. I was like, I was like, oh God, really? Okay. Anyway, none of the vlogs told me that. I wasn't getting no feeling and I'm a good, I've been everywhere. I've been everywhere in the States. I don't think there's no place in Addis Ababa that's most dangerous than the biggest city in the United States. She said, Addis is dangerous. We didn't say that. She said it, yes. Yeah. She said, there's a lot of thieves. Yeah. Every way we went that day, she was like, cover your thing up. Hey, don't walk so far. Put your camera down. Hey, I was like, don't be flashy. Alone. I know how to fight. No, <laughs> no. I, I'm just like, I know I'm a girl. Will you stop? I was getting annoyed with that. But anyway, on to the story. We get out. She's telling us this story about, you know, her helping. So she was like, I want to, uh, the taxi. I don't trust any taxis. Let me call my own guy. Let me call my own taxi to take y'all home, take us home. And then he's going to take me home. Mind you, she had told us that she was going to take us to dinner on the first night. I forgot to say that. She told us that on the first night you guys are here, I'm going to take you out. But when we got to the club, who ended up paying for all the meal? <laughs> who ended up paying for all their drinks? <laughs> I didn't even ask. I didn't, you know, it's no big deal. I got you, bam, I got the bill. I'm paying for the bills, no problem. So she calls the taxi and then she's like, it's gonna be 2,500 burr. And I'm like, I don't even know what that equates to, but whatever, <laughs> whatever. 2,500 burr equates to almost $50 US. So our dinner, by the way, cost less than that for the three of our us. Our dinner was around drinks. the same. Yeah, our dinner was, was around. Yeah, it was about the same, you're right. Yeah. And that included entertainment, alcohol, and you know the full shebang of the food that we enjoyed. Um, but at this time, we still didn't know exactly how much that is. We were just surprised that like, oh, it's 2,500. And she's like, yeah, because it's at this time of night. It was after 10, you it's know. It's a private service. It's a private oh, service. God. And we're like, we're also tired and jet lagged. You know, we want to go. Wanna get to bed, so we're like, if that's what she says, okay. So, and actually, because I had expressed that I was surprised that it matched the bill for our dinner, right? Uh, I said to her, "Are you sure?" I do. I remember saying that to her. Are you sure? And she said, "Okay, well, let me ask him for a, if you, he'll give you a discount." So then, in front oh. of me, yeah, 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 in front of me, she said something to him in Amharic, and he shook his head. I don't know what was said because I don't speak or understand Amharic. And then she turns back at me and said, he said, no, because it's past 10 o'clock. I'm like, okay. Cause I did try it. Cause I, I did find that it was high, but I didn't know exactly what the amount was. And also I was really tired, but I did try. So, um, so that's the first, that's the first, well, day among the day one things of not showing us, not actually getting a full tour on day one. She also had the nerve to overcharge us by like 20, uh, no, by almost $45 Yeah, for a, a taxi ride. Mm -hmm. That ride should have only cost no more than $5. Yeah, no we ride. Found out. No ride in Addis for the duration of our trip cost us over five, no matter how yeah, far it was it, within the city limit. If that's not a slap in the face, and you can't, nobody out there can tell me that they would be okay with that. Yeah. That's like going to McDonald's. You're seeing the, uh, the Big Mac meal is... Uh, eight dollars and the guy behind the counter says um that's gonna be sixty dollars you gonna be okay with that no <laughs> nobody's gonna be okay with that don't forget then she asked if she could come up oh yeah grab those things so, that we had brought for her yeah so once we got home and in the midst of you know just pissing in our face like like and just treating us like we dumb because we was dumb at the minute. We didn't, we wasn't even thinking about how much that exchange was. We were jet lagged. <laughs> yeah, we jet lagged. Um, so then the first day, 
she asked for the items. And I'm thinking, wait a minute, the items are gonna be the money for paying for this tour. Since you wanted the items instead of the money or vice versa, you really want the items. So they add up to your two days of tour, which we didn't get a full day the first day. We didn't get a full day tour. She wanted the items right away. Them, they were talking. She didn't ask me. I didn't know what's going on. And I'm like, she's like, oh, I'm going to get the items. I'm like thinking in my head, like, yeah, why she, are you getting the items now? Like, we ain't done. So she came to me and she said, now that you met me, Lisa, do you trust me? And I said, yeah, sure. And she said, so do you mind if I take the items back with me tonight? And I said, yeah, okay, take them. I mean, they're here and you're here when you've got a taxi waiting for you outside. So it's less trouble for us. We don't have to carry them up to you. Yeah. So sure enough, she came upstairs to the B&B with us. Um, the cab driver stayed downstairs who we ended up, uh, I don't even, it was a ride app in the end. It doesn't matter, guys. The point is she came upstairs. The ride app guy was waiting for her. She came up, took all of the things, the shoes, the laptop, the charger, yada, yada, yada. Um, and was on her way. Oh, and the 2500 for of course. We paid um, for our trip from Yoda Abyssinia <laughs> to our place. Five minutes. To her place, which took about 10 minutes. No, not even 10 minutes. Yeah, about 10 minutes. But it still wasn't, um, it should have been like $5, maybe $4. Okay, so let's go on to day two. Day two, since everybody want to say she took y'all a lot of places. No, <laughs> day two was even worse. <laughs> Day two. Check out our video for day two. Uh, we was we were still like, I'm thinking, okay, now we gonna see Friendship Park, we gonna see Unity Park, we gonna see Intoto Park. It's Sunday, so we started out. Um, she met us at our place. Uh, we get in the blue donkey, and the first place we're like, where are we going? And she's like, oh, we're gonna check out the Zodiac shops. We're gonna go to Shido Meta, right? Mm -hmm. That was the first stop. So we get to Shido Meta and we're, I'm like, man, what, what? I'm like, okay, it's Sunday. Maybe there's not a lot of people because it's Sunday and all these shops look like they're about to close. So she was like, let's get there. Let's get to Shido Meta, look at these Before places. Close, yeah. yeah, and she was like, and you can order. You can put your orders in for your Zudias and, and your traditional wear. And I'm thinking like, I'm not gonna buy nothing. Like, I'm not gonna buy. An outfit today yeah. like I need time to look around like you know but we go to these spots and mind you we didn't even know until later after we were there so long she took us to the very beginning the very corner where it starts the Shido Meta where a few shops is and she was like this is I think this was, was literally the tip guys yeah this was a little after the embassy the mm -hmm. US embassy was it or was it before the embassy I remember her pointing and she was like, that's the embassy right there. So we might not, <laughs> we might not even been in Shido Meta yet. It might have been before. Um, because, okay, yeah, the first shop we went a little before and then we went to another shop and we went past the embassy. But we are still on the beginning because I remember saying to myself, I'm like, man, this is dead. I was tired. I was like, I'm bored. Like, I want to see something. <laughs> like, yeah. so we were going to these shops. She's like, the whole time, she, we we're trying on stuff. She was like, you can see our, our video day two. Um, I was like, this is cool. You know, we try on stuff. And she was kind of like disappointed that we ain't buy anything. We was like, we gonna keep the card. She was like, yeah, cause you know, to have your uh, wedding here in Ethiopia, that'd be so nice, blah, blah, blah. I was like, I just want the tour, man. I, I just know. we're like our family is not here. Like, how are we, how are we having a wedding? Yeah, you know, and we, we're getting. And you're gonna throw us a wedding? Like, yeah. we don't even like we we're don't really know each other. You like, know. And then she was also putting pressure on us because she's like, all of these shops are going to close at twelve, mind you. There were, as it was on that little strip that she took us to, at the very tip there. There were maybe only three or four shops that were even open, and they weren't even proper shops. They were more like um, little standing kiosks. It was strange. All that stuff that you saw us finding on our own, she didn't take us anywhere near that. Like when we got deep into Shiromeda, we found that on our own and that big like um, standing structure that like, um, that we, you know, found like thousands and thousands of merchants yeah, in. Yeah, that warehouse. That warehouse, exactly, excuse me. That's the word I was looking for. We found all of that on our own. 
Um, she didn't show us any of that. And had she shown us that, those places actually stay open all of Sunday. And those are the best days to go shopping. You get the best deals on Sundays. But she took us right to the very, very tip uh, and was like, they're all gonna close up at noon. So you guys better choose something very quickly. And again, that haste of like, make a decision, yeah, buy something, or you're never gonna, like, never gonna see herd it again. cattle. Yeah, and so Ishay was like, you know what? We can't do this right now, it's too much, we're tired. I was also really feeling tired. I said, can we just like sit down and get something to eat? Yeah. So that's when we went to Romina. Yeah, we went to Romina. Uh, we had breakfast and you seen that, we showed that on the video. And again, guess who paid for that? Yeah. <laughs> as well as uh, any taxi ride. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay, we're gonna get to that. Yeah. So she's like, um, Hey, um, you know, it's getting late. <laughs> it's like, what, one or two? Yeah. Maybe one or 12. Maybe it was two. No, I think it was like 12, 12. or one. And uh, she's like, do you guys want to do X, Y, and Z? But at that point, him and I had both hit a wall. <clears throat> yeah. Right? Because we hadn't adjusted to the time change yet. And I said to him, I could see he was fading, especially if you go back to day two, you can see that at Romina, his eyelids were already really heavy. Yeah, because there was nothing so. to... Keep you engaged. Yeah, yeah. You know. He wasn't excited about anything. So I said, you know what? Let's hire you for day three, right? Because we didn't get to what we wanted to do. And she had also planned this whole elaborate lunch at her house that we didn't request, yeah. right? But we were happy to we were happy to go to her home because who wants to turn down an invitation to someone's home? Yeah. So we, I wouldn't have. I would have thought it was uh, would have been rude. Yeah, to, to say no not to accept it. it. Yeah. Which it is in our publisher culture. Right. You don't say no when somebody invites you to her home, to their home. So we said, listen, if your plan is to have us over for lunch today, then we're not gonna get to Unity Inn and Toto and et cetera, et cetera. So I said, why don't we just then go to your home since you've already prepared this lunch? Because she had been telling us that she had shopped and she had been cooking for a couple of days, yada, yada, yada. And her kids were waiting to meet us. So we wanted to honor that. So I said, listen, we'll hire you for day three. Unit, Isha and I spoke about it. We agreed that we would hire her for a third day and that we were prepared to spend the rest of that day after only seeing the tip of Shiromeda, mind you, that's all we've seen on this Sunday, right? Which is our day two. That we would at that point uh, finish off the rest of the day in her home, have lunch, and then everyone could go home and start the week refreshed because she's a, she's a teacher. We wanted to get a good start to our week ahead. So I wanted everyone to have a long Sunday evening and it wasn't going to happen if we were going to do lunch at her house and boon, which is the coffee ceremony, and then try to also see one or two parks. As you saw, when we got to the parks, we spent hours there. So it would have been not as enjoyable for us. It would have been nuts to try to get that all in plus the lunch. Um, so that was the plan. So again, day two, all we've seen now is the shiro meda and it's just the tip. Mm -hmm. I just want to also add one thing. What we didn't mention day one is that we also, uh, we went and exchanged currency, right? Um, and that ride in itself, we went in one of those little lazas, the, you know, from the, 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 the eighties, those little blue cars, you saw it in our, in our vlog. Um, Asmara used to be filled with them as well. They're Russian, right? Yeah. Really cute. Um, super old from cars, the 80s. right? Yeah. From the eighties. Yeah. Super, super old, really cute. And that ride in itself was also in central, uh, this, right? Which was no more that than 10 just minutes. Piazza around Mercado. Yeah. <laughs> That's and, very short. And for that she charges 700. Yeah. Again, we never had a single ride within the city of Atis that was over two. 400 or no, no it was three. over two wasn't over 300. There wasn't we can we have this we have the because he still has a ride share he can put up in fact he'll put it up for you now. He'll show you uh what the costs were. Nothing over 300 if I remember correctly, 300 yeah. per. And so that ride itself was also 700. So that's in addition to the 2500 that she charges in the evening. Yeah. So, um, again, all this stuff is not the money. It's the sneaky, underhanded, it's like just dishonest. It's just like, just taking advantage. That's not, that's not right. Especially if you're a religious, you claim to be so religious. You just don't tell people lies about how much things, because that's what it is, it's lying. And I think that was the whole plan. It was like, hey, I'm gonna get out of this. Um, I can just do it at my house. I can just invite them to dinner because food isn't that much. Food doesn't cost that much to go shopping here. Well, and I just doesn't, it doesn't, and we're vegetarians, so she didn't have to buy no goat, no chicken, no beef. You know, it's all veggies and lentils and in general. Okay, so she's like, 
I'm going to get us a taxi again. And we're still not even, we're still clueless to what's going on with the taxi situation. So come to find out she was using the ride app, but uh, we figured that after the fact. So, and, and those taxis, you don't even have to uh, um, request them by the app in front of Romina and um, four kilo. They're just everywhere parked. And so if you, if you, if a guy hails you down or you hail him down, you can just say, Hey, I need a ride. And then he'll be like, you got the app. I need to put this in. And that's what was happening. She got a guy, then they, they discussed it or whatever. No, we didn't understand any um heart, but Anyway, we got in this taxi and this was a nice taxi. So we're thinking, okay, she got, she got, like his car was very nice. And you see, you see it on our day two video, the car we rode in. Um, so we're like, yeah, I got this uh, driver. He's going to take us to my house. And she was like, I live, you know, I live far. She told us that last night. And then uh, somebody had one of our viewers and thank you for that. She heard the tour guide say, the tour guide and the driver talk. And to not take money from us, right? Yeah, don't take don't take the money. She'll take care of it. Yeah. We didn't go a direct route to her house. We kind of went the scenic route, and you know, you seen the video. We had a good time. I didn't. I didn't. I ate half a plate. I didn't even finish my plate of food. Um, she didn't finish hers or whatever. Um, we had, you know, we had. You invited us, so we ate and we drank. We had a good time with the kids. Here's where, at the end of this day, at her house, this is this is where it gets weird again. I go to the bathroom, um, I tell her, hey, on my way to the bathroom, I say, yeah, we ready to go, can you call us a taxi? I think y'all talked about it. And I'm in the bathroom, I come out, and then Bay says, uh, <laughs> she... Well, so what happened is, when he was in the toilet, she says to me, so if you guys could pay me the rest of my salary, um, and then I can go out and buy my baby some uh, milk and diapers. And I was like, Okay, I was taken aback because again, she has a beautiful Manny Petty, she has the Converse shoes and a full shoe closet, which you may or may not have caught in our vlog. She has the Wi Fi, a beautiful flat, you know, um, the flat screen TV, all of these things, right? So I was like, and then she was invited, she invited us over to her home. So if, if, if she was put out in any way or she was stressed out to do that, and that put her in a situation where she couldn't food, afford milk and diapers, I was surprised. So I was just like, oh, okay. So then when he came out, I very awkwardly said to him, because I didn't know what to say really is, uh, she's wanting the payment for the remainder of the tour, right? I'm still processing this, but I'm at least regurgitating it to him. Yeah. He had the ability to kind of just say, okay, pause, let's, let's come back to this because right now we need to pay for our cab ride. You just asked us for 5,000 burr, and that's what he didn't tell you. Before he went to the toilet, she said, it was 2,500 burr to come up here, and I'm gonna need another 25 burr to take you guys back to your Airbnb. So Ishe had already uh, issued out 5,000 burr, still not knowing what this amount is, by the way, in US dollars, right? But it's roughly $100. Um, so he's, so he, because he had just done that, when he came out of the toilet and I asked him for the remainder of her salary for the yeah. diapers, he was like, but I just gave you a stack of 5,000 burrs. Surely that's enough to get milk and diapers. Um, and then your response was basically, I was like, okay, we tired. Let's go home. I need to see what I got left because we had, we had all this cash that we had exchanged. I said, let me see what I got. Let me see, let me add up everything and what we've been spending. And then I know how much uh, we got remaining because she had had the items the night before, which was just about $200 minus the perfume. So I'm like, I don't, I don't think we owe you any more salary um, other than maybe a uh, six, what was it? 40 US mm -hmm. or whatever. I'll let you know how much I can give you. Yeah. Or we'll, well, you, you just like, and we'll just talk about it tomorrow. And she said, because uh, he wasn't like trying to not pay her. He just wanted to figure things out. And if you know Isha, he's a, he's a senior financial analyst. So he does numbers. That's what he does. He crunches numbers. 
Um, she said, well, why don't I come back with you guys to Mexico, to your Airbnb, and we can sort that out tonight. And I said, no, 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 let's everyone have a long, restful night. Yeah. We're still jet lagged. We need a nice long <coughs> night to just rest. You have school tomorrow because she's a teacher, like I said. I said, there's no, there's no problem here. We're gonna sort this all out. And she's like, okay, okay, no problem. You guys go rest. And she said, I'll come down to, to you guys tomorrow after work. And we said, okay, come to see us tomorrow after work. That's fine. That's what we had agreed on. So she put us in the car, we went home, and then we were almost arrested. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was a, um, this- Wait, oh, sorry, can I just say one thing? Yeah. One thing. Ishe was triggered by the whole milk and diapers thing, because like he said to you all earlier, he's a person that takes care of his responsibility. And so to go after a father who's already taking care of his own, right, and to, come up with that story uh, or maybe it's not a story for her but it was triggering for him because she doesn't know what our responsibilities are she doesn't know who we help or what we're in need of or any of the things uh, that might be going on in our own financial financial situations um, a lot of assumptions are being made um, and although we're not going to share our private uh, personal finances with everyone I will say this he takes care he takes care of everyone in his life, more so than 80, 90% of the people out there that have responsibilities, right? So this is not the person that you need to be uh, scamming. Arguably, you shouldn't be scamming anyone, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really, yeah. right? But this is what happens when you make assumptions about people um, and don't know what they're actually doing. And believe me, if you guys knew you know, how well he takes care of his people, you wouldn't want to see that for him. We, yeah. we don't want to see it for anyone. Mind you, we gave her all those items the night before. Which she said she would pay us back. So I'm like, why am I giving you money? And you either you pay us back or we just we just settle it as one one thing. Well, we get to our condo. We get around the corner from the condo, right up the street. And we notice it's a checkpoint. It's a police checkpoint. We've been here two, we've been here a day and a half, like almost a full two days, not even a full two days. So, you know, the driver should know, <laughs> do you stop at the checkpoint or do you make a turn before the checkpoint and try to go somewhere else, which is what he did. He saw the checkpoint there and we we're like, we need to get out, we live right there. So they had a checkpoint right in front of our apartment where right we were staying, right, in the, directly in front. And I was like, we need to get out here. And he was like, okay, I'm gonna turn down the street <laughs> so he didn't have to go through the checkpoint. And when we got out the car, we walked into our place. The police force probably thought that was suspicious that this car turned at the corner and these foreigners get out. And we look, <laughs> you know, we was get, we stand out. We was standing out the whole time. So they was like, huh. That's interesting. <laughs> so they stop us from going to our apartment and they like, hold it, stop. And we had to stop with like, why are we being stopped? <laughs> we just trying to go home. Um, long story short, the police chased him down and while they were detaining us, we still had no idea why we're being detained. Look, we're tired. It started to get, it started to get cold. We, have, we haven't had sleep. Um, I had to pee real bad. Both of us had to use the bathroom. We're like frustrated at this point. We're like, why can't we go to our place? And nobody's telling us why. And <laughs> so we're just outside being detained by these cops. And then uh, somebody who uh, spoke English came out and he's explained to us, he's like, why did y'all stop? Why didn't y'all go uh, through the checkpoint? We're like, uh, we were in a taxi. We, have, we, don't, we don't have any clue why. We stopped, but I was like, we needed to get out because we're trying to go to our place. We're staying here at the Airbnb. We rented out this uh, flat. And so he's like, but the police, uh, they just caught this guy and turns out he's not a, a licensed taxi driver. <laughs> so so whoever she, uh, this tour guy put us in the taxi with, it was an illegal taxi. It wasn't licensed. And we paid all that money. We paid extra. <laughs> We paid, when it should have been a quarter of the cost of what we paid, we ended up in an illegal taxi. 
Not a quarter, a fraction. Yeah, a fraction. Um, you know, it would have been like one tenth or 10% maybe. Yeah, no, one... it was 2,500 and it should have been 250. Well, we, yeah, we paid 5,000 in total that day, remember? We had yeah, to yeah, I'm day. saying coming back. Yeah, exactly. yeah. So, so yeah, we, we were out. An illegal cab that almost had us arrested but definitively had us interrogated for two hours. Yeah. Um, like I said, I had to use the bathroom so bad. I asked them, can I go pee right there? I had to pee outside in front of everybody. It was whatever, I had to go. Um, we couldn't get into our place because they was like, where's your, uh, we need your IDs. It was a big old thing. And they was like, we, want, we need to check your bag. So I was like, check my bag for what? And I was like, okay, it's a cop. Like what I'm gonna do, they are armed. It's, 20 to 30 cops out there for it on this night. It's like they was looking for something. Mm -hmm. So I gave them my uh, I gave them my sling. They checked it. So it was, it was a big stack. <laughs> it was a big stack of money. So they looking through that. Um, then they they went to hers and she was like, well, don't get this one started. <laughs> she was not the happy go lucky person you see. As usual, she was like, what is this for? Y'all can't do this. Like, we ain't doing anything. Like, why are y'all stopping us? Y'all ain't told us anything. Like, nobody knew how to, <laughs> what to say. Mm -hmm. And she, they checked her wallet. And she was like, I don't want them to check my wallet because we'll say anybody knows when you're dealing with police around the world, they're not the most uh, upstanding people. Like, a lot of police are crooked. So we didn't know if they was just going to take our stuff and we, what we going to do? We, you know, they can take, they would have took our money. She had like 200 US in her wallet and they was holding on to that. And she was going crazy. Then uh, they was like, we need to see our passports. So they let her go up in the uh, apartment and bring our passports down. And, and this guy, some, some, Good Samaritan, he just came down. He was speaking English to us. He was like, just telling us, hey, they just they just stopped y'all. They just wanted, uh, they looking for, um, they said 12 million burr was stolen from somewhere and they checking everybody. I was like, how would we keep 12 million burr <laughs> in, my little, in my little bag here? Like, that don't make no sense. And then so it was another uh, two other gentlemen who lived in the apartment building, who lived in a condo. Um, they were actually friends with our host, our Airbnb host. And they came out and they were talking. They were like translating for us. And they had called the host and he was very sorry that this stuff was happening. He was coming down there to, to sort everything out. And then they was like, they kept our stuff. And I was like, they're gonna keep my IDs, they're gonna keep my passport. A few moments later. It was a nightmare. Yeah, they Honestly. they had all our stuff. Well, it's because we refused to go to the police station. So yeah, they want, oh yeah, yeah that's the yeah. thing. They wanted us to go to the I police station. No I'm way. like, no, like, no. I've been- have to get the embassies out. Yeah, I've been in some places and if you go to the police station in some of these countries, you ain't coming out. Nope, unless I'll, you're arresting <clears> us. <throat> Yeah, it's like we ain't like we didn't commit a crime, so why do we have to go to the police station? Anyway, that ended, and we're like, how did they suspect us of stealing or they were looking for 12 million burr? Like, how would we carry all that money? So that was a thing. We didn't know if we got set up <laughs> because we just came from this woman's house, and it was just funny that we're in an illegal taxi, and all of a sudden we get stopped by the cops and they're like looking for 12 million burp okay so that's done our airbnb host came and he apologized for everything and he was just like he was just like what the hell you know he was like so angry at that that happened to us and he was very apologetic i'm adding up what we spent and then I'm, I'm like looking at these taxi rides. I was like, I was like, why did that ride that took less than ten minutes cost um, twenty five hundred burr, like almost almost fifty dollars? Mm -hmm. Or seven hundred burr just to go to the bank around? The yeah. Place. And so I'm like, let me. My luckily I had got my SIM card, so I downloaded the ride app. And so 
I'm like, I put in Yo Abyssinia to our condo. And I'm like, what? It was like 250 burr. I was like, this is like less than $5. Like I just, she just charged us 47 bucks for this ride that should have been $5. So then I was like, oh man, she done got us. I thought we was cool. I thought we was friends. Like we, we've been talking for like almost two years and we bought all this stuff for her and we didn't even get a full day tour. And the second day we didn't go to any place on that um, itinerary. We didn't get no tour on day two. But we did get an illegal cab ride that almost got us arrested. Yeah, we didn't even get a half of the tour. We didn't get a third of the tour. We got shown two places the first day and no places the second day. For everybody talking about, there was, uh, you guys are complaining over $120. We was being nice when we said it was 120. If you think about it, it was more than that. But I let it go. I was like, okay, the tax, we'll just, say the taxi rides made over the amount that you're owed, even though we didn't even get the tour. This is the whole thing. We didn't even get the tour package that she promised for two days. Yeah. And she still made out. And so when I was like, okay, we're out of 150 for, ta for taxis and we're out of 160 for the goods. For the goods. So that's $300. In total, this woman got out of us. Mm -hmm. The two day tour was supposed to be $200. We didn't get the tour. We got two places out of this, that list of places that we read. So, <clears throat> and nobody can tell me they, they would be all right with that. Nobody. You're not gonna be all right with paying for something you didn't get. And then somebody lying to you about how much things cost. So that's stealing. That's, that's stealing, one-on-one. -on -one. That's thievery, stealing, conning, scamming, whatever you want to call it. So I was to like- To be fair, sorry, a couple of you actually called that out. You reached out and said, yeah, yeah we could tell. Yeah. We could tell, and they were, the people that reached out to us and said that they could tell were Ethiopians, <laughs> actually. Hey, so we didn't calling, say it. calling her out were like, yeah, we could tell. One guy called her, a what was it, a circuit? Circuit tour queen, yeah, I'm at KS. Mm -hmm. Another person reached out and was like, yeah, I could tell she was scamming you guys. I was even telling my girlfriend, it was obvious that she was scamming you guys. <laughs> and we were like, oh, okay, great. So, you know, some people could see it was obvious. And yeah, like he said, and I said at times, we were like, uh, do we need to bring this? There were some red flags here and there, but we really wanted to believe that she was, you know, a virtuous person uh, and that she was, you know, she was going to charge us a fair price so that she could have a fair living wage, right? So we would have been happy to even pay 150 a day if that's what she had quoted us. I would have personally rather she had charged us $150 a day than for her to us to um, not give us the tour and then steal from us for, as far as like the cab rides went. Because once Ishe started to do the math and once he pulled up her home address and the distance from our Airbnb to her home and saw what it was on the on the ride share off. Again, none of that stuff came to even 300 burr. It was embarrassing. Yeah. How how inflated it was, it was so, it was so egregious, right? It was like, you went from something that was less than 300 burr to 2,500, like that's a piss take. You know, that's a real piss take. That's a so. thousand percent increase. Yeah, so it was, it was like, and so, you know, and. Because this, you know, this video is getting long, we want to kind of just sum it up. Yeah. We felt compelled to do this uh, because, again, we feel responsible because we introduced you to her as a tour guide. And we wanted to give you the full experience, good and bad. Um, and then we also wanted to uh, share with you all that we would not have been compelled necessarily to bring this to the forefront had she not threatened to call the authorities on us. So day if you recall she said on the Sunday evening as we were leaving her house okay I'll come by after work Monday evening to collect my money right for her milk and diapers yeah at this point mind we've almost been arrested Ishe has uh, placed all the numbers into his Excel spreadsheet so he's been tallying what we spent thus far 
he's you know downloaded the ride app and he realizes what we've been spending we're both pissed right we're both hurt we're both in shock uh and yeah. so she's mind you we out. were supposed to all be friends yeah we're all supposed to be family. that's not our family yeah. yeah so what happened she reached out and she said hey guys i'm going to come around tonight to collect our because neither one of us reached out to her after we almost got arrested on sunday night we were just yeah. like i was like we're done we're, like, we she, didn't want to speak to her she got enough money out of us yeah. we didn't get any we didn't get we're anything like, we yeah got, we we <laughs> we didn't get the tour we got two things on one day and nothing the next day but uh dinner at her house which didn't add up to no hundred dollars it didn't add up to fifty dollars i'm sure we're not gonna deal with her she got enough out of us yeah. she got she got gifts she got like almost $300 yeah. for, for a two day tour that we never got.